Hello everybody, welcome back to programmingpython.com. Here in this video, I am going to explain you about different layout managers in Python GUI package tkinter. Actually, tkinter has different layout managers. You can also call them as geometry managers. There are three of them that is pack manager, grid manager, and place manager. In my previous post, uh, in my previous videos, like I've created some basic uh, GUI applications like temperature converter app where I used grid system and a simple calculator app where I used pack system. So here I'm going to discuss about something called place manager. Along with that, I'm also going to explain the difference between all the three managers in Python. That is pack, grid and place. So we'll create a simple layouts using these three layouts and also will tell you when to use which type of layout. So first we'll start with pack. So as usual, initially we have to import tkinter. So from tkinter we will imp import everything. And then we have to initialize this. We will say it as root and we'll tk. And finally we have to run the main loop. So now we can write everything in between these two lines. Um, so first let's start with pack. Uh, so for example, um, so for expanding this pack, um, we'll create some sample labels here. We'll create uh, some labels and place them uh, using this pack manager. Label, I will name this as label1. Label and it will be placed at root. And we'll give some generic text for this. That would be label1 itself and also we can give some background and foreground to differentiate between all the different labels G we'll give some background color something like e7 4c and 3c something like that and we'll give a foreground color of some white okay now we'll use pack function for this we'll use label one dot pack actually in um, in my previous applications, I've just used this pack like this, but pack has some different options. Those are fill, expand, and side. What this fill option does is it um, fills this particular widget in uh, in x-axis or y-axis, or you can also fill both. So for this, I will use fill equal to x. That means which fills the x-axis. X-axis. I'll give some padding of 10 to it. Uh, so similarly, we'll create two more labels. This would be label 2 and label 3. I will name this as... So guys, I've created three labels. That is label 1, label 2 and label 3. So now if we run this uh, and see, you will notice that this is the application here. We will notice that there we found three labels which fills all the x-axis. Actually, if you can see, this uh, takes all the x-axis. You can see even if we expand, it takes up all the x-axis and it's um, stick to the top. That is how we can use this uh, pack to um, fill on the x-axis. For suppose, if you want these three labels to align horizontal to each other, simply we can use some other option called side, which allows us to place these three options which allows us to place these three labels beside each other I'll simply copy these three and we'll write another three labels that would be called label 4, label 5 and label 6 so we have created another three labels those are called 4, 5 and 6 so instead of giving this uh, fill x, pad x we'll give one more option to this uh, pack function that is we'll give side equal to left so which allows us to position these three labels horizontally so i'll copy this and paste it to all other remaining things and also we can give this a padding of y2 so i'll do a padding of 10 for this one and now if you can run this um, application and see see you can notice this these three labels aligned uh, next to each other 
so actually mm, that's how you will use this uh, side option to place this uh, elements uh, to besides each other now there's another option in pack which is called expand i'll say when to use this pack layout manager actually in your application when you want something like fix things that would be aligned either horizontally or vertically and mostly for your navigation menu so for your main navigation menu or for your side navigation menu in your application you can use this pack layout manager so with that said we'll move on to expand option actually this is the side option we'll just write a comment here and this one would be the expand option so here what this expand option does is it um, fills the height entire height of the content suppose if you have some uh, list box contains of 20 elements it would expand its height to show all the 20 elements mm, generally when you have a list box it wraps up up to 10 elements from 0 to 9 that is 10 elements and it will show a scroll view for remaining elements but when you use this expand option all the 20 elements will be shown without any scroll view so it takes up the height of the entire content so we'll just write it and see we'll just write a list box for this case Sim uh, similarly um, similar like labels you can also use list box similarly you can use list box and we'll place this in root and now list box dot pack here we'll use fill uh, both instead of x instead of y I'll, I'll use fill both and I'll tell expand equal to 1 that means I'm telling this list box widget to, to expand its height to the entire content so now I'll enter some elements in this list box I'll use simple for loop I think I will enter some 20 elements what I'll do is I'll just insert this uh, numbers into this list box until the end of the list actually everything would be we have to convert um, everything into the string so I have converted these uh, numbers into strings using this simple string function and now I will run this program and see as you can see here all the 20 elements got printed here instead like general list box which limits to 9 up till here it, uh, it got printed up to 19 ok we'll just um, show you without this expand function expand option here so now if I run it will show only up to 9 elements you can see it, show, it showed only 9 elements and remaining all are kept in this scroll view so that's how you can use this pack layout manager and now we'll go to grid system so grid is one of the most flexible layout manager out of the three GUI layout managers in python it was introduced as an alternative to pack what this grid does is, is it allows it allows you to position the elements in rows and columns which gives more flexibility to your widgets in this example i'll create a simple 2x2 two two table table like structure we can use this grid to create a uh, table like structures so first here in this example too i will use some labels i will have some text for this some generic text like um label 1 and we'll give some width to it that would be we'll give some width of 10 to it you can use grid manager here not grid and what I'll do is I'll place this at row 0 and column 0 too. so I'll place these two elements at row 0 and column 0 and I'll create another label which will be placed beside it I'll give this label too so in it will also be placed in the same row but in the next column this would be our first row and I'll give create another two labels I will call them as label 3 and label 4 and this would be placed in the first row that is this actually these two will be in the first row these two will be in the second row the numbering starts from 0 so we'll start from 0 and 1 so this would be 1 so now if we run this you can see this this uh, 
label 1 label 2 label 3 and level 4 actually we didn't uh, rename this to label 4 here this one would be label 4 so if you run this again you'll see this label 1 label 2 label 3 um, level 3 and level 4 this is how you can create a table like layouts using this grid packet um, grid uh, layout manager and next one more uh, layout manager that is called place this place is uh, I feel it's most uh, it is the most complex layout manager of the three managers because it uses absolute positioning means if you want to position elements absolutely like uh, I want this element to be placed at X at x equal to 10 and y equal to 20 when you want such when you are into such situations you can use this place layout manager so now we'll go into create a simple example so i've already initialized this tk enter and also set the size of the application and now we'll use uh, this place manager in this uh, here in this example too i will use the uh, label as an example i will use this place it at root and give it as a give a text for this and some background and foreground colors okay and we'll create some some three or four labels for this I'll call this label 2 label 3 and label 4 I'll also change the colors for all this I'll give this as 3 or C and this one would be F09 so I have created four labels now we will use place manager for this I will also give some variables to this something like that so we can use uh, so now we will uh, use this place manager L1 that is label 1 dot place so what we will position this at um, x equal to 0 something like that we'll position this at x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 so this should be at the top left corner of our application and similarly for other um, three labels 2 we'll use this one this would be label 2 this would be label 3 and this would be label 4 and for label 2 we'll place it at um, x equal to 50 and y equal to 40 and for label 3 we place them at um, 75 and 80 maybe 75 and 80 and for label 4 we place them at um, 25x and 100y so we will also keep this uh, a here so we can um, see on the text their position when we at which position they are right so now I will run this um, and see you can see this label 1 is positioned at x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 that means this top left corner and this label 2 is positioned at x equal to 50 that means from this from here to the starting of this this position is x axis and from the top and from the top of this application to here that is 14 so label 2 is positioned at 50 and 40 and label 3 you can see it uh, moves further to the left because it is 75 here x axis equal to 75 and even from the top it moves further down because it's 80 y equal to it's y equal to 80 so similarly you can use this label 4 it's 25 x axis so it's so nearer to the right side that is x axis and it's a uh, y is 100 so in this way you can use this place load managers to place this elements not only labels but everything you want uh, to place very absolutely in that situations place manager would be a right choice so these are about the all the three layout managers in python pack grid and place hope you liked it if you like this videos please subscribe to programming in python.com leave a comment like it share it with your friends thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos from programming in python.com bye bye